How tall is your license? Say you are. Why? Because <laughs> he doesn't have a license. <laughs> Welcome to podcast. That's the name of our podcast. It's called Podcast. We are filming. Dude, Doc Talk episode 13, I think. Oh yeah, I forgot we had a name. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a name. Yeah, we do. I forgot the name. Two Doc Talk. I was talk. literally just thinking, let's just name it Podcast. <laughs> After two years, or three years of having it, even though... It's been that, active for like four months. Is that your Sherbert Monster Float? Nasty. Mm -hmm. So, you know... I, I made a float on a Mango Sherbert and a Monster. You know, I've, I've recently noticed a problem we need to fix. There's a That's a problem. What's that? We're in half the shot. Yeah. You ever notice that? This is all empty. <laughs> what we good do? And then we're do? down here. There's some sweet... Hold on. Oh, yeah, I have an idea. Oh, I have, I have an idea too. In case that one doesn't pan out. I mean, you could just edit like yeah. the top part off. Yeah, we'd have to zoom in the whole. What are we gonna make it like? I can zoom in the whole time. Honestly, that wouldn't be a big deal. Well, yeah, but we're we stretch the whole side of the screen. What are you gonna do? Just chop off part of the top? No, that doesn't work. Zach, why not? Why can't you? Just... I mean, I'll get editing, but because you can't do that. Yeah, Gavin, why don't you just so... shut your fat mouth? What shut your mouth. Yeah. Here, one sec. You dirty animal. I heard YouTube editor was trash. Oh, it is, but I, I mean, like, with my editor. My regular editor. What were you going to try? Regular editor. Sorry. Hurry up! Hi, guys. Welcome to episode 13 of Two Doc Talk. Uh, yeah, we're going to cut that whole beginning. Yeah, I don't blame you. No? Uh, Are, we? Say, Are we? I was going to say, we already said hi, welcome. You want to start over? No, I don't want to start. I like that. That beginning Can I just fun. go home? Also, it's, it's like two or three last Today, we're going to be talking about stuff. One sec. I'm just trying this to find is my some... brother Gavin, our guest. You've seen uh, him in an episode. He's in an earlier episode. He's in an earlier episode. This is my brother Timo. You've seen him on an earlier episode. I've, you've seen me on every episode. Pain. Yeah, that's not cool. Oh, that might work. A little close. Hey, that's better than before. Yeah. Welcome. Even though you kind of cut Gavin a little Yeah, actually, you know what? Here, let's just. You know what? <sighs> that didn't. No, I know. Hold on. I'm trying to cut him off completely. There we go. <laughs> it's like staying the same, pretty much. Look at that. I'm sliding it so much. All right, just... stop messing with the camera. You're not supposed <laughs> to do that in a podcast. Why not? Because yeah, we're, that's it can be innovation right there. Politics. That is innovation. We're making it better. Okay, mainly it's also the angle here. <laughs> Pain. There you go. I'd rather feel pain than nothing at all. Pain. Really? Why? Would you rather feel pain or nothing? Nothing. Really? Nothing. Because if feeling? you feel... I love when people are like, you know, oh, pain is better than not feeling. No. Because if you're not feeling, you're not even going to care. You're not even going to notice that you're not feeling. But do you want to True not care? feeling is not... Imagine how miserable your life would be if you could only feel pain. But imagine how right? miserable life would be if you couldn't feel anything. You wouldn't then care. You're not gonna feel. You're if not you could feel only miserable. feel pain, you would put feelings would be synonymous. You'd just be like you. and misery. You'd you be wouldn't a want to have a robot. You know, I'd, want, I'd just kill myself if I could only feel pain, and then I wouldn't feel anything. So wow. then what? All right. Yeah. Well, if you wouldn't feel anything, then you wouldn't end up killing yourself. Then you would be Ajax. Couldn't he feel hatred or something? Huh? Couldn't he feel hatred? I don't. I don't know. I just think if he doesn't have any actual feelings, like as an emotional feelings. By the way, too, we're talking about the bad guy, in, the bad guy in Deadpool one. Yeah, if he doesn't have any actual emotions too, as in that kind of feeling, he would have no motivation to do anything he does. He would just sit there. Maybe he just does it because why not? Because he can't even think why not. Well, he, he feel. feels good to be a gangster. How would he feel good? He doesn't feel. Just shut your it's face. It's kind of like Thanos too. He feels. I mean, he feels, but it's more like he puts aside all of it. He's just a... He's yeah, a he dude. ignores it like Hitler. Yeah, just to do his duty. He, he cried when he had to kill his own spoilers. That was the worst part of the movie. Right? Yeah, this is kind of... Yeah, dude, when he killed his spoilers, that was so sad. Yeah, I mean... When he, he killed his own spoilers. He killed so many of the main characters, right, guys? It's... Well, I mean... Okay, yeah, basically... The um, movie's been The out people that disappear are Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, <laughs> Peter Quill... Um, All of Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah, except, for, except for Rocket Raccoon. Rocket Raccoon. Uh, Kunta Kinte dies. Oh my gosh. 
uh, Black, Black Panther. That Black is. Panther. We were Panther barely Panther. skirting spoilers, and then just went, eh, screw it. Yeah, well, screw it. I mean, it's been out for a while. If you haven't seen it, then that's your yeah, fault. Yeah, if you want to see it, you definitely and, should uh, seen it. And we already it. talked about it yeah, in the podcast bored, after it came out. <laughs> watch it online for free, then. Yeah, watch it online with your eyes on hey, the internet. Go to the library. The last two <laughs> Avengers were on Netflix for a while. Maybe this one will be. No, no, Civil War, Captain America, Civil War, oh, yeah, still on. Okay. Dude, I look so That's much bigger than you two now. Guardians of the Galaxy 2 is still on. That's literally like, I scooted and forward Doctor a Strangers. foot. Here, Tim, just sit up here. Uh, I look tiny. <laughs> no, wait, wait, sit back there, sit back there, sit back there. This is our buddy Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> wait, wait. Dude, this is like how they did the effects in Lord of the Rings. It is exactly cover my Shut idea. up, Bilbo. Yeah, it's I'll okay. Look, cover, cover my face with your hand. Shh. Wow. Bizarre. Is that the sweet idea you have to that? That's growing. <laughs> that's the growing sound. <laughs> 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 that was an interesting sound effect for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, surprisingly well, good. are bouncy. Surprisingly good. Get some mango sherbet ice cream. Uh, yeah. And, and, some, store. and some regular monster and Logan make it like Paul. a root beer float. Dude, look at that. Doesn't that actually look kind of, like, like it's nice? It's, it um, smells kind of good, actually. I'll it's actually it's frothy. I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to lie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'll be real. I'm not going to be fake. Wow. I'll be real with you. I'm telling the truth. I'll be real with you. You have schizophrenia and I'm not real. Oh, well you have Asperger's. Oh, well, doesn't matter, I'm not real. What if I actually just disappeared? What would you do? I'd be like, that means Thanos won. <laughs> I'd be like, <sighs> yeah, seriously. Tony's turned towards you. I don't. No, I don't feel so bad. After I ate, like, after we ate like five plates of food over Golden Corral, I don't, I don't feel, feel so sick. good. Yeah, no, we just ate a bunch of. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, we went to Golden Corral earlier. You might That's see it this week's vlog. Place. And next week's vlog, we ate so much we food. Recorded some stuff. What's nice stuff is Golden Corral is not in the top 100 for most locations for a restaurant. Remember? Wait, well, yeah, I didn't think. I it would think be. Golden Corral would be more popular than that. I mean, you would think they would have at least like what was, what was the lowest? Like a hundred something locations? No, it was like five hundred something. Whatever. <laughs> I think it was four hundred eighty or whatever. It was like right around. Whatever. As soon as you say well, something like hundred, I was like five hundred. Whatever. <laughs> uh, now the sherbet won't come down to me. And, and like how after after you said 100 and I corrected you, then you oh, remember shoot. the actual one. No, the shoot, it like, come down to me. <laughs> so, you know, Rip Your Floats, I, vanilla ice cream and root beer. <laughs> he has monster and sherbet, uh, mango sherbet ice cream. Mango? I've got, um, like, mini driver face right now where the sides of the face are too big like that. Guys, yeah, I'm trying to let's say some interesting any facts about ourselves. Sweet news items. There's some shootouts lately. Shootings lately. That's not at all what I was meaning. Oh, what did you mean? No, that's what we meant. <laughs> sweet news. <Yeah. laughs> There's been shootings. Sweet, <laughs> sweet news. You guys hear about that school that a guy held up? There's this class. It's just really what you want this class? Yeah, didn't he get caught right away? He uh, came up, shot some people. Did my ball I thought I only shot the... one person. <sighs> my ball! Ha! Ah! underneath the couch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, then he shot himself. Did you guys know ABC canceled Roseanne Barr's sitcom? I just In heard... the 90s? Yeah. No, just right now. I just heard some terrible news myself, actually. The most recent, the new, like the they did a tenth season. I think so. And they just canceled, canceled it again. Yeah. Thank God, they were doing terrible. Because I heard. Didn't terrible. know they were. You would actually care about anything I said. I heard okay, just terrible tell news. Yeah, seriously, you were waiting. Well, this actually is bad news <laughs> to me, but I read an article saying that Andrew Lincoln is quitting The Walking Dead after season nine. Thank God. Shut up. Wait, Rick. Yeah, the main character. What are they gonna do? And uh, uh, just keep having the non-main characters as the main characters, I mean, like they're 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 doing. They're, they're just gonna well, have... they're not gonna kill Norman Reedus. Well, I mean, they're gonna have to kill because him. he actually just negotiated a saying, "I'm only gonna stay if you give me twenty million dollars," and they gave him twenty million dollars. I bet they have to now that Andrew. He's like, okay, the, okay, we can Rick's afford gonna it. be leaving, so yeah, yeah, we can capitalize. <laughs> we'll just give you his paycheck after Rick, Norman. I mean, even. But well, Norman Reedus is already the uh, Rick yeah, or Daryl is already the only the one most... that was kind of even close, like to to, to the Rick rumble. is the main character exactly. for sure. It's his story. But Daryl I mean, is the is probably the most popular character, even though a lot of people are like, "Oh, he hasn't been doing that much lately." Wait, so that means the whole family from the original beginning of the show is going to be dead now? No, yeah. there's still Daryl and Carol. No, no, he means uh, oh, the no, original I mean family. the actual yeah, family, family. Yeah. blood yeah. family, because Carl's gone. Uh, the wife. <laughs> Remember when he killed his mom? <laughs> 
No. She's gone. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love that meme though. Oh, oh no. Coral. No. No. Coral. <laughs> so I, I wonder if they're gonna like. I wonder if they're gonna kill him or if they're gonna have him like go away and then come back for like the finale. Cause it's it's his story for eight seasons. He's been the main character. I hope they kill him and he comes back in the final as, episode as a like, zombie. Guys, I'm immune. He he leaves because he was bit. He, he has to... the cure. His blood is the cure. He's like he comes back. He's like so I got bit, but it, that was month. That was years ago, and I'm still human, dude. So I guess I'm the cure. Like he came like, back like a, a week later. Yeah. He's like, no, I've been fighting. So it should be like. It's like, no, I've been fighting to get back to you guys. I got kidnapped. Blah, blah. And then you know he gets attacked by a whole group of zombies. Uh, they eat him up, and he can't. They can't <laughs> make a cure. Dang. That's gonna suck. I know he's like in his. He's forty four, would... but like Daryl is. Oh no, Maurice is forty nine. Yeah, I would want the really? finale. Yeah, he's of Walking he's Dead that because old. I hate all. Oh. Those shows. What? I hate The Walking Dead. Hey! I hate Breaking Bad. Hey! You I, like The Breaking Bad. I do like you The like Breaking the Bad. You like The Breaking Bad. <laughs> I love when people do that. You've been to the Walmart? <laughs> you like Breaking Bad. I've never seen it. Oh, I've really? Seen the, I've seen the opening five minutes. Well, how can you say you hate Walking Dead and Breaking Bad if you never because seen it? Because I've seen a lot of The Walking Dead. You've seen But Benson then why did you just parts. say you hated Breaking Bad you when said, you said you've never seen it? I was naming all the minutes. popular shows. I stopped it, too. Does anyone, anyone, you see anyone else think you it's, haven't, does anyone else think it's cool to hate popular shows? It's so cool. I do hate oh. what The Walking Dead does, though. They what? operate like a soap opera where huh? everything is open-ended and they pretty much... What do you mean? No, I agree. As, in, no, I as agree. in, literally everything on the show is open ended. No, I agree. Just up to whatever writer walks into the room next. They do the thing where they're like, cliffhanger, and then the next person can be like, how do I want this to go? They do the thing like with soap operas where it's like, oh no, that guy died. No, he lived. But he has amnesia. No, he remembered. That person tried to kill him. Give me an no. example of where The Walking Dead does this more than once. The one that does this more than once? Literally, the right. ending... Don't say anything! Every single I want to hear Every thing. single episode... Sh d doesn't every single episode leave off where, you know, there's Give like... Give some examples. I can name the biggest example. Not you. Go ahead. Yeah, You've actually watched the show. Well, I mean, the end of season, what was it, six? Or yes. was it seven? That's one, a that's cliffhanger. Exactly what I'm yeah. thinking. What's that's wrong? a terrible... Cliffhangers are good. Cliffhangers can be good. It can't be your season ender. I just don't like when shows... They don't have, like, um, how do I put it? There's, like, sitcoms, like, uh, Roseanne, <laughs> or Malcolm in the Middle. I guess you could even consider, like, Scrubs a sitcom, technically. Shows like those, they have open and shut stories every episode. Like, a main, like every single episode, not really connected to each other, unless, you know, there's, like, oh, these two people like each other, and they might get together. That's, like, the only thing outside of so you mean, episode, you know, episode, like, episode, episode. Sunny in Philadelphia. Get to the point! Like, point. <laughs> and then there's other shows. <laughs> there's other shows where they'll do a big seasonal arc. You Game know? of Thrones. And they, they've done that in Walking Dead. But, they kind of but what I don't them. like about that is that, like, you know, they, they have so many strings running through each one. They're, like, just... It's, yes, you it's keep, like you keep coming up with different ways to describe it, but actually give some examples. That cliffhanger was a great idea because the the no, season what? seven premiere was, was their second most idea. viewed video. At, was their second most viewed episode ever? Why do you ever. think? Because they and put the does, cheesiest cliffhanger and it and works. No, they're, they're doing it for it does work. It does work. It does work. It does work. It was still a great episode. It works. No, it was. I think it was. It works. I loved it. I think. I think that sort of. How was I enjoyed it. He, Nothing wrong with me enjoying a show I like. I will say, it's it does work. And it works. That kind of cliffhanger works very well. I don't think it's very creative necessarily. I think it's like, ruining the TV show industry cliffhangers like that. Well, yeah. they haven't done anything like that because of how many complaints they got. It's because it's then. a terrible practice that, that you I mean, if they, do, if they do it over and over and over again, eventually it's like, yeah, but calm I'll, down. They stopped doing that no, because, even doing it because that of that episode. It was just ridiculous. Well, it still worked because it is the second well, highest rated episode and it was just underneath Jump the first. scares work, but they're a crappy practice. No one likes yeah, jump scares. They're that's the all they do. They, they, elicit, they elicit a reaction. You know what I mean? You, I mean, you, you know. can do them right. Like, I understand yeah. that why people hated it because it was it was definitely an easy way for ratings, but it worked because it was their second highest rated episode ever and it was, it was right was underneath the first. Yeah, but it Timo, was... when they have literally I, every I know. main character in a line and like, oh, I'm going to kill one of cliffhanger. Of course they're going to be like, <laughs> And I it was that. a good business idea because it gathered their second uh, ra highest rating episode ever, and it was the second highest rating on on a 
cable TV of all time. The first was the first another, episode. Another thing. I just, I can, he was I talking just about, realized that I'm never going to be able to argue with this with you because all you really look at is numbers. And I'm actually looking that's at That's not true production. at all. all that's I'm, all you've said. I, all all I said numbers. was for them, it was smart to do that because it gave them ratings. That's for exactly viewers, true. they might have been pissed, but AMC doesn't care. For, I, for me, I don't care because I still enjoyed the episode. I still enjoyed the the finale of season six. Yes, season six and seven were not that great compared to their prior, but seasons because so season seven why, was a big build up just a season. Why do you think they did that finale? Because the seasons were not doing well. They needed a, a ratings boost. Season Very six was fine, and season five was their highest rated season. Well, they they knew it was going downhill. I think I got it. Because it was going downhill. Yeah, that's, that's probably why they did it. But I still like. That's seasons. a terrible practice. Oh, Our ratings are failing, so we're gonna have to resort to some cheap. I mean, that's, practice, that's what every that's what everyone say, tries to do once they start going down. That's did what I'm saying. Did work. I will say it did work. It was cheap, but it did work. Just like jump scares, they're cheap and they Wait, work. That also reminded me about laugh tracks. As soon as that one guy, you know, got popular because he was like, you ever notice in the Big Bang Theory how nothing funny actually happens? They just had a laugh track. And then every single person in America thought they were some TV critic because now whenever they watch a sitcom, they're like. Oh, there's a laugh track. It's not actually a funny joke. No, it's still a funny joke, usually I, on other yeah. shows, but they still add in a laugh track because it's well, how a classic lot of the sitcoms times, worked. I hate laugh A lot of the times, laugh tracks are just put there. Just Yeah, that is a lot of the time. Which is but if you watch shows, lazy. If you watch shows like Big Bang Theory, almost none of the jokes are actually funny, and they do it a laugh track, and it, people just laugh because they're retarded and mindless, yeah, it's, and they go, it's like, it's like the biggest show in the world. Laugh Everyone's now. laughing, so I better laugh. Yeah. But there are other shows that are actually hilarious, like IT Crowd, where they still use a laugh track, but then sometimes people watch a show like that, IT and they'll be, like, they'll be like, oh, they're using hey, the laugh track. No, yeah, oh, they're using the laugh track. That means it's not actually funny. No, same with jump scares. People are like, you know, oh, there's a jump scare. I That's jump not a good, scary movie. No, jump scares can be good. It can be good. It can be incredibly good. they do it well, like in the original Poltergeist, with the, uh, the the clown doll, one of the only actually great parts of the film is where that kid is like in his bed, you know, looking at the little clown doll across the room. He looks back, it's gone or whatever, and he like heard it fall through. Like looks over the edge of the bed, nothing there. He gets back up, and then it's behind him. That's a jump scare, but that was done great. Or in uh, what's that recent one well, with uh, Jim? Jim oh, Helper uh, from the Office. Yeah. A quiet place. <laughs> a quiet place. I oh, you actually I sent him? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, still haven't, I still haven't seen it. I literally just oh, I said, I'm it. not going to spoil anything. I I literally just said it. Oh, it's already it. been spoiled. I haven't well, seen all it. I wanted Everybody. To, all I, I wanted to say... It. And no spoilers. All I wanted to say was it had some really good jump scares. Because it was perfect since they bar- there was barely any speaking in the movie. And Wasn't it was, there another movie like that? Probably. Mm-hmm. Like with the, the Death Rider? Yeah. The lady. It was super... It was super quiet for most of the movie. So whenever there was like a jump scare, it would be like, silence. Oh, it was the blind, it was the blind movie. A Quiet Place. Yeah, it was the blind man. Do you remember that movie? Quiet Place. Do you remember quiet, that movie? Quiet, because of the quiet. Um, yeah, I do remember that, that movie with the turkey baster filled with semen. Yeah, that movie. Is that what that was? Yeah, yeah. He was going to inseminate a girl. Oh, yeah. And then oh, they, yeah. they took the turkey baster and slammed it down his throat. What's that movie on Netflix yeah. I showed? I showed, or Jesse showed me. That movie got really showed, weird. Really I haven't seen it. There's, mo- there's this movie where it's this girl who's a writer, but she's deaf. Yeah, that was the one that I was talking about. She lives like out in the. Out in the she lives oh, out in the yeah, now I remember that then, one too. And then this that's, killer comes and tries to kill her, and she tries to defend better. herself, but she's at a disadvantage because she's deaf. So she's like signing like this and that. And uh, she signing her, to? the killer, like, get away from me. Why would she sign to the killer? Because she's telling them to get away but from she, me. Why would she assume the killer can read a- ASL? She's signing. not actually signing. No, okay, I thought, I thought she actually was. She's doing this. <laughs> she was signing. <laughs> That's not sign language. I mean, <laughs> anyway, that's hilarious. What was gonna say though? I and think I, they fight. I think one thing is for me to actually like a show or like a movie. Almost always, it has to like. I don't just like something if it's just an interesting idea. Almost always, it has to be like at least saying something. You know, yeah. like I like Monty Python because it's spoofs and some of it is actual commentary. On real life stuff, I like Malcolm in the Middle because a lot of it has to do with uh, social psychology. You're not the boss of me, You're right? Now. Yeah, it has to do with family relations You're and everything. I like. Um, you were just You're not the boss yeah. of me now, and you're not so big. And I like Psych. 
Psych is a great show. Because yeah. they actually do some really interesting things with that show. Oh, I um, like Psych. I never got to watch it, though, because it's not on Netflix. Why do I feel like Timo's, like, half in this movies. conversation? But it's, it got it, taken it, off. It, by, the time I got, the, by the time I got interested, it was taken off of Netflix. I watched it it's on fully Google, twice on Netflix you before care it got me. taken off. Yeah, I don't care. Um, I've watched all of Psych, all of 30 Rock, all of Malcolm in the Middle, all of The Office, there, all of... Psych? Uh, there are nine, I think. Eight or oh, nine. Oh, man. The first episode, the, the pilot was the pilot was actually supposed to originally be a movie, and then it became the pilot for the show, and it was an hour yeah, and a half. Yeah, that's pretty that. great. And then they canceled the show, and then they had a musical, and then they brought it back for a season. Mm -hmm. Aren't now they making another movie. Psych movie? Yeah, yeah, they're making a real movie, like the movie movie. It's gonna be great. Um, they're, they're, coming out. The, real quick. they're making a show I think it's about what's his name from Big Bang Theory. The yeah, they already made it. It's oh, Sheldon. Sheldon. It's yeah, retarded. It's, one of the worst it's so stupid. I can't even it. believe they thought that was a good idea. I thought it was a movie, and then I was like, oh, this is an actual mm. show. You know how you can tell something's bad? When you're gay. I think if, the movie if, came out already. You mean show? Oh, the psych movie? Yeah. When? December 7th, 2017. Really? What? Yeah. We <laughs> missed it. didn't even know. I guess it wasn't a national release. Oh my gosh. I mean, psych's been Lasseter? gone for a while. Last year. Let me see last year's Oh my name. god. Who's. What? What a yeah. god. <laughs> Those flowing locks. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. That's amazing. What's gonna say? Uh, Magic. I'll talk about the film voice. Oh my gosh. You know what I think you gotta. Let's just make the next six minutes of this podcast us man. looking at pictures of this majestic man. And not even saying, like, ah! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, not oh, even showing it to him. Like. <laughs> What are you you guys should. Oh, see you guys are still here. Yeah, you guys should. Man, see you guys should look here. up this guy that we're not going to say the name of. Well, they could take context clues. So you know what, how you got to know it's a good show. Well, they could take context clues. Oh yeah. Wait. You know how you know if it's a good show, <laughs> comedy show? Instead of laugh tracks, it's sound effects. <laughs> Boing. Yeah. You mean like, like big time rush. Yeah, big, big time, time rush. rush. Like, <laughs> like, like big time rush. Like, hey guys. Ow. Little guitar slide. Goes like, that actually, no, you remember that sound at Johnny Test all the time? Yeah. And the crack whip, the. Is there any. You know, Ooh, cartoons with that. laugh tracks? You know, they used the whiplash rash the so much song. that it became a meme, like a joke, that how much they used the whiplash. Really? Yes. Like in the later seasons, they would use it like six times in one sentence. It was ridiculous. You like every like action they would make, they would be like a. You guys like? I know I'm doing the hand. I'm working out. I just I feel like whenever I make that sound, I have to do the Ow, hand. You whip my arm. <laughs> 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 you guys, you guys so if old people laugh at it, big? if old people laugh at it, it's not funny. <laughs> It was funny back in the 1800s. I'm not even kidding. I'm so angry about this because Calm down. if no, <laughs> I know one of my friends was like, I forgot who it was. Somebody was like, oh okay. yeah, oh yeah. This uh, they were talking about an old lady that knew like uh, their grandma or somebody. And they were talking about, well, you know, they she said she only has Snapchat because uh, over. because she likes putting face filters on children because because they're funny. She was like, yeah, it's funny to put those face filters on kids. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not funny. We should not let old people have access to TV because they're the ones or that have like, time to watch TV. They don't have jobs. They don't have school. They don't have anything. They're the ones that are sitting at home letting their brains rot. You know, that, that's the reason they get dementia. You know that, right? All they do all day is just sit. How are you supposed to not get some sort of brain rot if that's all you're doing? Take up a hobby. Go outside. <laughs> Stop taking your crappy sense of Why humor and spreading it people? all over American TV. Stop. Poor old people. Dude, we old also people should, suck. We also, my grandparents we also shouldn't let them drive. No, your grandparents are crazy. Dang. I see my grandparents all the time. You see this? Just as an example, whip counter. Right. In one episode. <laughs> Jeez, it's already at 150. Wait, wait, turn it up, turn it up. Start it over and turn it up. Do you hear just like the amount that you can hear in the conversation? This is one episode of Johnny Test. What am I saying? One conversation. They just spam it. They just do that at every <laughs> second they can. It's already 50 in the first 30 seconds of the episode. Well, they didn't fast forward. Still. Maybe. Isn't that ridiculous? I remember those two guys. Every motion they make. I do think it's funny way. that the, that the voice of the dog changed. They did too. That man. guy left. Yeah. It was like it's not funny anymore. That's an example of really bad. That's yeah. like I watched. Like, in, I watched this video at work today. 
Okay, first of all, you're working. You shouldn't be watching videos at work. Yeah, first of all, I'm telling your boss and you're gonna get fired. Ten things we all work to you is tried to be slick about, but we ain't letting you slick back by bad by that. Oh, was that what it was called? Yeah. You sure it wasn't? Ten things the Marvel Cinematic Universe has tried to get away with, but we caught MCU. Over at the Taco. They didn't or, right. Watch Mojo. You know the Taco. The screen rant. T A L K O. The screen rant. Oh, screen rant. Yeah. It was Screen Rant or the Taco or Watch Mojo. This one was Screen. Or rant. one of those crappy channels that I want to. What die. the heck is the Taco? Yeah, taco. I've never heard of T A L K O. The Talk. Oh, not Taco. Is oh, the oh I thought you were saying Taco, taco. too. I haven't heard of that one either. Let me look at T A L K O. They're such a trash channel. They're one of those channels that just spams your suggestions. Man, they have a lot of subs. Even oh, if you don't watch them. 5.7. Yeah, Whoa! Look, look at their most recent videos. It's going to be stupid pop culture crap. Oh my gosh. So Five signs. Ten man. reasons Will oh Smith gosh. is the You're best right. person These ever. These are some cancer titles. Yeah, read them. Oh read yeah, them. All, read them. all these top ten places. I want to read them. It's not even top ten. I want to read the one. Dude, watch they, Mojo. So read many videos. It. Read some. Screen Rant and the... What's 20 that? strict rules Donald Trump's kids must follow. Why is that on YouTube? <laughs> and these people get attention. Yeah, Watch Mojo has like 17 million subscribers. Uh, I remember when Watch Mojo had like under a million and I was watching them. I wish I hadn't. I wish like, me well, and the other like hundreds of thousands of people at the time who like gave them their start just had never found them. <laughs> Subliminal just... messages in Backstreet Boys music videos. <laughs> oh my god. Backstreet. Back. Alright. So it was top ten things that the MCU tried to hide, but we found out or whatever. And a lot of them were like, "Ooh, the actor who played uh, Hulk in the 2008 film is a different one than the one from the Re Avengers films." Like, My God, no dog. <laughs> Nobody knew. Like he was no. a big actor. He had nominated yeah, for Edward three Oscars. Norton. Edward Norton. Fight Club did a Hulk movie, and then was a hey, American History X. Fight Club, Sausage Party, um, I Fight Sausage Club. Sausage Party is the second thing. Apparently he's been he's nominated for three Oscars. Yeah, he's a really good actor. Well, apparently he said he doesn't Who? like... Sorry, I was trying to find Edward that. Norton. I'm trying to find that video. He, Edward he Norton. said he doesn't like playing the same role for a, a long period of time. And if you yeah. join the MCU, you're going to have to like sign a tenure. Because if you do that, that gets you typecasted very easily. But if you start doing he that. said he was a little upset that he wasn't invited back. Like, uh, what's his name? Who plays Walter White? How am I forgetting his name? Basically, everyone in the Ryan MCU is yeah, typecast. Now he's typecast. Just because he played Walter Wright for... Oh, everyone in the MCU. Seasons. He's like, only going to be now that old, like... Dude, I still see him as Hal from Malcolm in the Middle. Dude, they can be the same. I was, no, I see him as that spastic, whiny... That's because Malcolm in the Middle Dude, is they can be the show. same. Like, after Hal, Hal got tired of that terrible family he was part of. Seriously. And he's just like, I'm just gonna go uh, start a new well, life. Well, it's like Chris and Evans and Chris Hemsworth, they're all, like, they're gonna be remembered for Captain America and Thor. Like, everything they do from now on. Like, hey, that's Captain America. Yeah, but hey, at, least, at least they're big enough in the sense that they can still get other roles. Yeah, they can still get other roles names. just because they're huge names But Brian Cranston, he's, he probably could, could, but it would be in the same vein as every other thing he's done. Like, especially... Because being typecast is, like, the biggest bane in an actor's career. I heard honestly. Captain America, or Chris Evans, is... Gonna quit acting for a while to direct. I mean, he's rich enough. Go for it. Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, he's not quitting his job. Like, he's still, he said he wants to direct movies. Yeah, yeah that's what a lot of actors do. They're like, I've been into this this yeah, long that's just I know how works. cameras work. It's just not how it works. <laughs> I know. Hey, I mean, I wish Chris Evans good luck, but. I don't. I hope he fails. I hope Sorry. he succeeds. He's a good looking guy. Alright, Timo. Steven Spielberg is worth billions of dollars. the most vain person on the planet. He's a good like, Dude, guy. Dude, Steven Spielberg is worth billions of dollars. Think about that. If you're good that. looking, you can get cooking. What's cooking good looking? Chris Hemsworth is also... Uh, is there any upcoming movies you want to see? I want to see... That are excited for? Avengers 4 next year. Uh, movies? Uh, is that really the <laughs> I want to see Avengers 4 next like, year. Like, uh, <laughs> movies? <laughs> Movies. What's coming out? I actually can't pick up many either. Yeah, Ant nothing good's coming out. I guess Ant Man is gonna be making a better one. Wasp. Yeah, they're making Ant Man and Wasps. It's, it's Dude, it's out. gonna be so stupid. It's coming out before I'm excited Infinity for War. Wasp. Yes. No, you can tell from the trailer it's gonna be one of those dumb Marvel movies because lines like you shut your oh, mouth. Oh, you gave her wings? I didn't know you could do. Or like oh, you didn't know you had technology for that. Wish you had that when you made my suit. I did. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. 
Yeah. They had a monkey sit in a typewriter and bash its face into it over and over to write that stupid movie. I was. Hey, don't judge it. It looks so stupid. Watch it. Uh, the Incredible. And there's that thing. He shrinks yeah. a building with a ray and then picks it up like a briefcase. First of all, even if you could actually shrink a building like oh that, God. if you pull it like a briefcase, tilt it like that, everything inside is just going to start crashing around. Structures. Also, it's going to keep the same, it'd still have the same weight, and it would just start boring yeah, a hole in the cement. That's what I was thinking. Because it would weigh tons. It would weigh hundreds of tons, and it would just start cracking in the cement. Yeah, that's what I don't get about the Iron Man things, is they say that when, no matter what you shrink it to, it's going to stay the same mass. But then he licks then the whole they, house. Then they, like, for, in the end of the first movie, he had his keychain, which was a tank. But it was an actual real tank that was just shrunk down to keychain size. And then he just grew it back to normal size and drove a tank out the wall. Don't ask Spoilers. questions. But it's, I'm it's like, retarded. what? Is he strong enough to just carry a tank isn't around that, like it's nothing? Isn't that like one of the only obstacles stopping humans from like actually being able to like change that, the size? That and the mass fact. just doesn't disappear. The, yeah, that it's, and the fact that like if you actually tried to shrink something, um, no... Yeah, because like, the mass and everything has to go somewhere, you know? It just doesn't... My heart's right. It worked. But, but look, if... Or in Civil War, when he threw that... Well, truck. I mean, like, 99% of an atom is empty space and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, oh, maybe we could shrink the distance between us. No, that would be a terrible idea. Death? Don't mess with nature. That's Every time we mess with nature, Oh, you we mean like how ourselves. Sweden is trying to make a black hole or whatever? It was so long ago. Or a portal. I that felt... was 2016, I think. Yeah. No, like 2015, 2016, yeah. where they were, I felt bad and it's not even that they were to, trying to make like a black hole or a portal or whatever. Like, it was just yeah. a lot of stuff taken out of context and exaggerated and stretched out. And people were like, Wasn't that "Oh my god, they're gonna make a portal to hell!" No, That's, they were they were making a particle accelerator. Dude. Like That's just reactionary out of any issue like that. There's always yeah. going to be reaction yeah. reactionaries to every accelerator. accelerator. Yeah. Did, isn't that in the flash? That thing, everything is in the so, world yeah. doomsday. But I mean, like, know. particle accelerators are actually real, but, you know... Yeah, like, the lightning, particle accelerator exploded and lightning gave a hitting bunch of people lab. powers, including the flash, Dude. his powers. Yeah, li I love in the original Flash comics, a lightning hit a lab with some chemicals, and then he was caught in a chemical fire. <laughs> back if then, you're in a chemical here, fire... Dude, back then, superpowers were just so easy. Daredevil, he just, he falls in a vat of freaking, like, poisonous liquid. He goes blind. Oh, that gives him super heat. Spider-Man was bitten by a spider. By a spider. There's your super Dude, that one, that one is great, all right? You just, I by love... your bias, because Spider-Man is your favorite. You didn't need to have, like, a logistical or origin. Spider-Man is my favorite. Logical. Logistic. Superman. Is Spider-Man his... your favorite? No. Superman, Deadpool's I mean... an anti-hero. Well, Flash is my second favorite, and, um... Really? I just don't... I like, like the Flash. The show He's is bad. The and show is one of the worst Nightwing. Marvel shows. Yeah, it's what? DC. I'm not I mean, talking. I'm not talking. Be, I'm not probably. talking about because of the show. I like the Flash from the comics. I like the show Fair kind enough. of. I, I never really read about the comics. But he in the show he's. And all the movies, like all the TV it. show. You know, like Grant. Has, Grant yeah. Yeah. I've never Flash liked any CW show. I've I've only ever watched the Flash. I've never watched any other ones. What? Or, there's uh, Arrow, Supergirl. I watched like two seasons of Arrow. It was okay. Dude, there's uh, CW also made there's Riverdale, which uh, oh, basically yeah. rapes Archie comics. That's so which I spent my childhood reading. That's one screw one Riverdale, mind. screw CW. That's I one. hope CW goes up in flames. That's one of Kelsey's <laughs> favorite shows. Yeah, I know, and it makes me angry. It makes me furious. It's the stupidest thing ever. The only way that they're like the comic is they have the same hair color and names. And Co That's it. They have Cody from Zack and Cody. Oh my god, they have Cody from Zack and Cody. He's the worst possible choice for Jughead ever. Jughead is supposed to be an idiot who overeats yeah. and gets into all sorts of hijinks. In the Where's show, what is he? I'm a weirdo. I'm an outcast. <laughs> Die! He also cools a, wears a cool crown in the comic. He right? wears a beanie all the time. Yeah, that makes me so angry. His crown. His girlfriend's a stripper. I don't like Timo because he just says random things. <laughs> he's not even talking about. He's not even talking about the show that we're talking about. He's just saying some random guy out there. His girlfriend's a stripper. Like, he's talking about Deadpool one now. His girlfriend's no, a stripper. No, she's not a stripper. She just worked at a strip. She's a prostitute. She worked at a strip club, but she's not a stripper. She was she's a waitress. A prostitute. She was a waitress. Mm. Vanessa and Deadpool was a prostitute. Well, she, she was a waitress. Was she actually a waitress, or was she like? Did she ever partake in like any of the? It doesn't. Movies? It doesn't she say that. No, she was a waitress. She was picking up plates. I and swear stairs. to God, she's a. You were distracted by the nude women. I swear no, I wasn't. That's like, not God. part of the movie. That's like towards the middle of the movie after he's already that was screwed the same up. Part. 
No, the bartender was, was a dude. Oh, yeah, she started off as one. Yeah, yeah. the bartender yes. was a dude. But I was, talk, I was talking about during the strip club scene. Yeah, I'm talking or about she's in a the waitress. beginning. But that doesn't mean she's a stripper. That means she's a prostitute. I called her a prostitute. But I, you called her a stripper. You said his girlfriend's a stripper about the other thing, and then and I then was you trying said to he's talking about Deadpool to Deadpool, one. and then I switched and said, actually, she's a prostitute. But before then you, you said, said that, I said waiter. she worked at a strip and club. And first of all, women aren't even waiters, they're waitresses. Oh. They prefer to be called waiters, just like actresses prefer to be called actors because they're trying not to... Only retarded them. ones prefer that. So all women... All women are retarded, so yes! are you arguing then that women want to be called men? I'm arguing that women are property! If they just want to be the same... Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> this has been Two Dog Talk episode whatever. No, we're not done. It's 35 minutes. We can keep going, this is fun! I'm done, I'm shutting down. Yeah, I'm shutting down. So, uh... I'm actually gonna start backing these. Well, I mean, when you go up to a group of women and men, you don't say, Hey, you guys and girls. You say, Hey, guys. What's up, guys? That's, yeah. that's different, though. Nah. Yes. Are you is. a guy or that a girl? That is different because in traditional English, you're supposed to refer to a group of people using a male pronoun, exactly. such as that's how it's always been. That's that's actually when you when you talk about somebody that you don't know, traditionally you would say he, not they or that's them. That's true. But he. But then as time political you would say that man. came, I'll call it started it. becoming more that yeah. thing over there. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, just, look at this. Just crap. see somebody in public. You have no idea what they Did are. You look at that. Would you get a load of that? <laughs> Would you look, look at that thing. Would you just look at it? That's what it's going to be like when Androids start coming out. And are like really, really good. Like I, thought I, I, I thought you like, I thought you forgot the word androgynous. I thought you were going to say Android. Say Android. <laughs> no, yes. oh, I mean stop. like when, like I say stop. when Android comes out. Stop. I mean like when <laughs> Androids become like really nice to the point like you can't really tell the difference. Except for like the obvious Why'd markets. you use the phrase really nice? I mean like really technologically Let him nice do what he too. wants. <laughs> You know, when those computers become real nice. <laughs> you think people will, like, that makes me think of like how a grandpa talks, you know. When them their computers get real good. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's real nice. No, that's real nice. What about Incredibles 2? Nice. Incredibles 2 is going to be incredible crap. <laughs> you guys hear about how uh, Solo, a Star Wars film, is bombing in the box office right now? I heard, yeah, I heard. My I, dad saw, saw, he I didn't see it was bombing. I just saw, it, saw it, like, it got like 80 million, but that's not a lot. Right, right now, uh, it, it's gained about 168 million. It's not a lot. That's but so the terrible. Budget, or, but how much they spent was 250 million. So, what if they flop? They're not going to. They spend, I, yeah. I, I think it'll go over 250 million. But I, I bet it's like 800 million. 800? Really? It's been out for like a week almost. Yeah, it's probably going to be one of those films. There are a lot of films that like when they first come out, they don't make as much. I don't as think it's going to get 800. Movie. I think it's going to hit. I've heard good reviews for it. It says 70% on Rotten I mean, it's Tomatoes. a Star Wars movie. You think a Star Wars movie is going to be like, how much do you think it's going to make? If it's really bad, I think it'll make 500 something million. Really? Yeah. I mean, I'm saying that'd be least, so terrible for a least, Star Wars at movie. At least 500. Yeah. And a Disney movie. In uh, the same vein. But seriously, what about Incredibles 2, though? Uh, uh, I watched seriously, it. I, I think... loved the first one as a kid. Yeah, the first one was great. You know why? Why? It didn't make political issues its main focus. <laughs> is that is that what the second one's doing? The second one? The woman's going out to make the bacon. They hired the woman to become a superhero again, and, he, and the dad was like, Why didn't they hire me? I was the main yeah, I, I love, You're our best shot, not me. The wife uh, looks at him with a glare. <laughs> Honestly, he's a better choice. She is. She can stretch. It's not even he that he's a dude. Strength. He can, she's not even like stretching at the level that the dude from Fantastic Four Mr. Fantastic. Yeah. Mr. Fantastic is incredible. That would actually be a good, not sick time. Maybe. But she's like, <laughs> she's like a more, she's just a lamer version of him. Dude, she's, she's literally like, uh, what, what, what are they called? You know, the toy, Stretch Armstrong. Yeah, Stretch Armstrong. She's a Stretch yeah. Armstrong. But Mr. Fantastic, like he just grows. It's kind of what it's like. that butt? This has been Two Doc Talk, episode 13. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. I love you. Pain without love, pain. I can't get enough pain. Like it rough, cause I'd rather feel pain than nothing at all.